Many people are discovering fresh footage from earlier years and adding this ominous context to it in light of the recent charges against Diddy, which some believe are similar to the Jeffrey Epstein case. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. For instance, internet detectives discovered a video of him and Birdman exchanging flowers to symbolize their respective accomplishments or ongoing journeys toward being successful music moguls. Furthermore, in the end of the video, Sean Combs even plants a kiss on Stunna's head, and many people had strong opinions about it. Unfortunately, the genuine conversation about power dynamics and the ramifications of these kinds of occurrences and encounters was somewhat eclipsed by the homophobia. The cash money executive has not responded to this latest conversation. In addition, some famous people are genuinely defending Sean Combs in this situation. It's another black man in this industry going through some unfortunate circumstances. Ja Rule recently told Piers Morgan of Diddy, I wish him luck with everything he's going through, and if there's victims in this. I can't speak on things that I don't know about, Piers but I wish everybody love. It's a very unfortunate thing for the victims of these situations, and for the people who are also being accused of these situations. Ja Rule continued about the accusations against Diddy. I believe in justice and I believe in the punishment fitting the crime. If people get convicted of the things these people are saying, then they should be put in jail. But I also believe, on the flip side, if people are lying about these things, they should also be taken to court, tried, and be put in prison as well. A guy has filed a lawsuit against Diddy, saying the mogul molested him sexually. Former mogul producer and cameraman Rodney Jones claims in court documents that he was sexually abused by Diddy on multiple occasions, and that Diddy's colleagues made unwelcome approaches on him. Among other things, Jones says Diddy would touch his anus and prod his genitalia. Jones continues by claiming that Diddy would show off his nude behavior for him. Jones thinks Diddy was attempting to prepare him for a sexual relationship. He claims that Diddy would dismiss the reported attacks as horseplay. Jones continues by saying that Diddy made him see a video of Stevie J having sex with another man under duress. Jones also sent a screen grab from the movie. There are other claims that he was sexually abused by a female cousin of Diddy's girlfriend, Young Miami, who purportedly tried to have sex with him in front of Diddy and staff members. Additionally, there is Jones claims Diddy used to bring prostitutes to his Miami home. Jones also claims that on one occasion, when he was there, he was drugged and maybe raped. Additionally, he claims that Diddy purposefully gave ladies bottles of his drug-laced vodka and tequila at multiple gatherings. There are other obscene claims, such as bringing minor females to Diddy's house and giving them drink. According to Jones, Diddy gave Stevie J and his son Justin Combs instructions on how to obtain prostitutes. Specifically, Justin was told to look for young girls to go to the parties. On Diddy's yacht, Jones says Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooding Jr., and Cuba allegedly started touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones's legs, his upper inner thighs near his groin, the small of his back near his buttocks and his shoulders. A furious disagreement between Diddy and his son Justin at La. Recording studio is alleged to have led to a shooting, according to Jones. According to Jones, a a man identified G was struck by gunshots and was heavily bleeding from his stomach. According to Jones, Diddy directed him to tell police that G was shot during a drive-by. It's important to remember that the LAPD apparently discovered during their investigation into the incident that the victim had been shot during a robbery outside the studio and had just run inside while still bleeding. According to the documents, Jones is suing Justin, other workers, and several record executives in addition to Diddy. He is reportedly requesting at least $30 million in damages. Diddy's attorney, Sean Holly, responded Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. She adds, we have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are completely complete lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones' attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored, as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. Diddy has been the target of numerous lawsuits in recent months alleging various offenses, including sexual assault, and abuse. First to come out in November was his ex-girlfriend Cassie, but they quickly came to an agreement after she filed. The next month, he, Harve Pierre, and another unidentified guy were charged by an unidentified woman of having sexually assaulted her in 2003. In a move for dismissal filed last week, the creator of Bad Boy Records retaliated, claiming that his constitutional rights were being infringed. Sean Diddy Combs never participated in, witnessed, or was or is presently aware of any misconduct, sexual or otherwise, relating to plaintiff in any circumstance whatsoever. The filing reads, Plaintiff's decision to wait more than two decades to file her complaint has prejudiced defendant, as he has lost the ability to defend himself fully and fairly in this action. 
A second memorandum of law was filed on Diddy's behalf a few days later, on February 23rd. In a similar vein, the document refutes any misconduct on his behalf. The lawsuit has resulted in them becoming victims of the cancel culture frenzy in the courts, it reads. Well before any evidence has been presented, and on the basis of rank, uncorroborated allegations. Diddy and his group contend that the statute of limitations passed in 2010 and hence want the complaint dismissed with prejudice. On that note, keep checking back for the most recent Diddy news and updates. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.